Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're uh, at the haunt working on the parade float again. I just got just wrapped up with a technician working on the vending machine in the gift shop. Looks like we're like one part away. Essentially, we just have to hook it up to the internet and then we'll be able to take credit cards and bills and coins and all that good stuff. Right now I'm at, at home, not the store at home because they have Halloween stuff out and I need some skeletons. So I'm gonna see if they have any skeletons and you guys like Halloween stuff. So we'll take a look at some Halloween stuff. Coming right in the door, you can always see pumpkins and skeletons. Uh, I like it. So this is fantastic. They have the exact skeletons I'm looking for. They're only 30 bucks, so I like that. Let's see some of the other stuff they've got because some of it's cool, look like a dragon. I appreciate this uh, motivational thumbs up from the skeletons. These big candles remind me of like the ones you can get for Christmas, but clearly spooky. Looks like they've got the flickering candle on top and then light of eyes. They also have these huge skulls. This might be the largest skull I've ever seen. They're only $100. Look, one eye works. For a, a minute, I was afraid I was going to have to have these Frankenstein skeletons, which would work, but it's not ideal. And they're like $15 more than the other ones. So they've got some cool stuff here. If you've never come to at home, I think last year was the first year I came here for Halloween stuff, but they have some really awesome stuff. Check out the trees. Cool Grim Reaper thing. I actually bought something here last year that's in the yard at the haunt. Um, I'll show you it because I think they have it again. Yeah, this guy right here. So ours doesn't light up. That sucks. I want ours to light up. Cool. For $100, they have these seven foot skeletons over here. So step over Home Depot 10 foot skeletons. They got seven foot ones at home. Some more giant skulls, skull fountain. I just happened to wander over here and they just have more Halloween stuff. If you need skeletons, this place is stocked up. You can get them and like I said, $29.99, not bad. I don't know if they have any like coupons or anything, but maybe you can get them for even cheaper. If this is your speed, they also have uh, your inflatables here. And they already have Christmas stuff out, so I guess it's really not a Christmas tree. It's a Halloween tree because it's a black fir tree with orange lights. So creepy inflatable tree, flaming tree. That's cool. I like it. At home kicks ass. Not Halloween related, but they've got these, which look to be about five feet tall. Five foot tall candelabras with a base. It's about $1.99. All right, guys, I'm here at the haunt now. We're making some progress here on the booth. Here's what we're doing. So we got these pieces in, um, kind of as like the trim inside of the carousel. Jose's doing the trim all the way around. He's getting it knocked out. Uh, I think he's like halfway halfway done yeah he's got quite a bit of it knocked out but Jacob is cutting some diamonds that are going to go inside of these we just tried to put a tarp on the top but the tarp I got is too small so I'm gonna have to get a larger one so that we can cover it and tack it down and all that good stuff right now we're putting in our poles we've got these uh, three quarter inch poles they come in pre-made sizes um, the issue is you can't just cut them down because you need them to be threaded to attach these flanges. So they come in 10 foot, five foot, four foot, and like 18 inches. So this is about eight feet up to there. So I got two at 48 so we can make it eight foot with a coupler in in middle. So we'll attach all these to take that, take that shit off of there. Um, we'll attach all these so that we can do that. And then I got the skeletons I brought. We'll go on those poles kind of bent up like they're horses. So it'd be pretty cool once it's done. And then I'm actually going to like paint these all gold. I'll have to kind of figure out how to clean them off because they do have like an oil. You can see it in my hands. They've got like some kind of oil on them. Um, so if, if I just spray it on there now, these won't be gold. They'll be, it'll just like wipe off. So anyway, we're going to get this shit up here. Let's do it. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are we are back from Hawaii. Um, came out here to Amherst. This is the first day that we're back at the haunt. Um, spent a couple days at HHP at the shop getting orders done and stuff. But now we're out here 
Um, we're working on our parade float. So we have about a week and a half to get the parade float all done and prepped for the parades that we have. Uh, the first one's on the 29th, we're doing three of them. So that'll be coming up very soon. Stay tuned for that. We're here at Amherst now because I don't have enough material to get the parade float all constructed. So we're here to get some boards, some plywood, stuff like that, harvest some shit out of here to get over to the haunt so we can construct a parade float. Let's do it. All right, so we, we didn't like tear anything down, but we got a bunch of lumber cleaned up. We got some stuff out from over here. Here's like the trailer full of wood that we got. We're gonna use primarily for constructing the trade float. Whatever is left, we'll use construction of the haunt, but here it is for free. But we did, yeah. The larger tool is just throw in the bed. So we also got this area cleaned up. You can see kind of some of the other stuff um, that we can grab as well. We started making piles. So we started dragging all the trash because we're this corner we're pretty much done, except for that stuff way over there. So we took trash over there. This is all plywood, um, and it's like quality plywood that we can use. And then this is more two by fours and two by sixes that we can just come and grab if we need them really quickly. So we'll start kind of doing that, getting stuff organized, but this is all trash, all the rest of it oh, over here. So we're uh, moving pretty quick in this place. Like there's not that much left over there. There's basically like, you could see right through here, that room is like on the other side of that room is the end, so. We're uh, we're getting it knocked out pretty fast. Anyway, we're gonna go to the haunt, unload this trailer, and then start putting the float together. Let's do it. So I'm gonna record that. But uh, anyway, we're here now. We got the lumber unloaded from the trailer. Starting to construct the parade float, so should be good. All right, guys. So here's progress on the carousel float. Um, to start. I've got this base constructed, and this is like the primary structure of the float. Um, next, I'm going to start to construct the canopy on top, uh, which will actually encompass the whole top uh, and kind of be, you'll see once it's done. It's going to have a flame cannon on the inside so it could shoot fire up in the air. It's going to look really cool once it's done, but this is the base structure. Now I'm going to start um, putting in some two by sixes for the top. I've marked, you can see the lines on here, 12 inches down all the way around. Um, so I could start putting in that. I'm gonna take a break for a little bit cause it's hot as hell out here and I'm feeling a little lightheaded. So let me get some water. There's a blue jay that's been hanging out here all day. See it? He has a friend. That's kind of cool. I think they have a nest in the O of the Hills Hollow thing. That's kind of cool. It looks like it's right next to it actually in the H. Yeah, it is. All right, we just got back from eating. Um, drastic change in weather. I don't know what happened. It got like chilly outside out of fucking nowhere and cloud covered. Um, I wish it was like this all day. It's been hotter than hell all day long, but uh, we just got back from eating. Jacob Phelps is here now helping me. Ashley's here too. I don't know if she's gonna stay. We also took a small amount of time and got the choreography down um, for the parades. I'm sure you'll see that coming soon. We're doing training on Saturday to get everyone else on the same page with the choreography. Um, so it's zombie slider shovel man choreography, so it should be pretty cool. But anyway, uh, this is the progress on the float. So we've got all these two by sixes up here now. This is gonna be the bottom of the top canopy. So next we're gonna run some two by fours from these up to the top. And that's going to hold um, essentially the ceiling, which will be made out of um, red and white fabric. Um, so that'd be pretty cool. And there's gonna be a flame cannon inside that's gonna shoot flames up into the air, um, like four feet. So nice. Um, we're gonna frame that in. We're gonna put some framing around here and do a small amount of plywood work, essentially work out here till it gets dark, and then we'll go inside. All right, guys, here's parade float content. Parade float progress. So we got these um, angled boards going up to the top. So it's gonna create like a canopy on top. We were cutting these plywood strips to try to bend around this. 
Um, but we, when we were doing the first one, we got almost to the end and the thing snapped, so it's not gonna work. So we're gonna use um, some plastic trim to go around it because it's extremely flexible. It's the same stuff that we used on here. Um, I'll show you that next time I'm here, which will be like Saturday. I'll go and pick it up and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. It's plastic, so it's extremely flexible and weatherproof, so that's cool. But um, next day we're here, we'll do all the plywood on this um, and get the trim up and try to get the fabric on the top and like paint and all that good shit. So we've got um, essentially three days to work on this to have it totally done before the parade. So we've got some time, but we have to make sure that we're moving. We're gonna head to the back and do some work in the rules room. All right, guys, not too much progress in here, but here's what we got knocked out over the last couple days. Cause I don't think I vlogged in here. We were here last either. So we got the rest of this handrail up, um, the whole front and this handrail. So now like it's sturdy, nice and strong. It's not going anywhere. Um, so we'll be able to put the pretend screening on this so it looks like a walkway and then we got this side is also almost complete we got the handrail up on the walkway and then all these ones flown in so that we can do the same thing here on the front with the handrail apply with that and then we'll really be ready for trim and like kind of finishing details moving into the finishing phase for, for the finishing phase from the primary construction phase we also framed in these two walls this one up here and that one right there. So we can ply with those and then this looks like a hallway instead of looking like the outside of a barn. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the day. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you could like this video, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. And it's the driving force for why we make these videos. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm just still tuning out. You stay scary. All right guys, ran to grab some food. Um, I'm up here now, the cruise stayed here and kept working so they actually like just cut out a few minutes ago um but progress really good they made really great progress um we're basically at a point where we're ready to start doing the paint so here's progress on the float before i show you please like this video and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out um, and i love seeing you guys subscribe and comment and engage with the content and all that stuff so here's progress on our parade float so they got all the trim in, all the way around. So you can see, see the bottom looks interesting. And then we did trim here to cover up this gap. I mean, it's really starting to look like a carousel. And with these poles, these poles aren't like screwed in and all that stuff right now. They're just kind of put in there, but that's about where they're gonna go. Not slanted like that, it's just straight up and down. And then we're putting some skeletons on there um, to kind of mimic horses so we're working on that right now but we also did this kind of decorative stuff up here this uh, curved piece curved on the top and then two diamonds and a circle there so this will all get painted obviously and we got to put the, the drop cloth on on top still for kind of a canopy roof um, yeah this is turning out pretty much exactly as cool as I had planned it. So we're also doing this kind of skirting around the trailer, which will paint all this um, with red and white. <clears throat> but yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I mean, it's gonna be sh shooting fire out of the top, shooting fog and shit uh, out here in the front. <clears throat> then on the back side, shooting off that way, we're gonna have uh, two confetti cannons that shoot a massive amount of confetti up into the air so plus it has lights underneath it we've got speakers on here we've got stilt walkers i'll be up on this rocking out and dancing and all that good stuff we're throwing out candy we always just totally dominate the parades i mean we we do it like no one else does um as you can see, at least no one else in our, our area is building anything even close to this. This year is actually like the grandest um, that our, our parade core has ever been. We're bringing the bus, that bus, which will have banners that run, run down the whole thing. So it's like a giant rolling, rolling billboard um, that says, come work here. 
and we're open and all that stuff um that's flanked by probably my truck and the carousel float with uh with clowns on it and all that stuff behind that we have some people walking on the stilts we have a few characters and then flanking us we've got our sliding zombies uh with the choreography that we just came up with so we've got choreographed sliding and scaring we've got we've got pyro we've got fog we've got rock music we've got a giant rolling billboard i mean we are always an event at these parades um one of them is pretty cool it's in highland sorry it is dark i'm trying to get into the gift shop to turn these lights off but um sorry it is anyway the highland parade is a twilight parade so it actually happens at night um which is cool for us because creative lighting and fire is something we do and it looks way cooler at night than it does in the daytime so um adding those elements to our float it's gonna look really cool we're also probably gonna do some stuff with like glow sticks putting glow sticks all, all over us kind of doing a rave thing um out there <clears throat> to make it look really cool so we we're gonna be a huge hit in that parade as well just tearing it up so Anyway, let me show you a few more things as I close the lights in here. But uh, we'll be here again. I might come here tomorrow in the daytime, do some more work either on the parade float or on the rules room. I'm trying to get through the rules room. I got a bunch of trim today, which now the float trim is done. So I can start to get trim up in the rules room and that will get us uh, pretty close to being done. We're on like trim right now, trim and just kind of finishing the walkways. We had to do trim, then paint, some texture, and then distressing and like lighting and finishing pretty much is what's left. Sorry, it just got real dark. But uh, so we're hopefully about a week or so, week or two away from being done with the rules room. And then we can move on to, to other rooms that won't take us as long to complete. Um, so the rules room will probably be the last room that we do with like texture for right now. Like the, the ideal would be to eventually have them all hit with sprayed concrete texture. But at least for right now with our budget and our time, we'll do it in there because they're, they're going to be in there like waiting for a long time. So we want it to look and feel like it is real. Then the other rooms that they're just kind of passing through, if they don't feel like concrete, not a big deal and we can get to it next year. Um, but we've got like another, like six rooms that we're trying to complete plus the new field for jelly ball and all that. But I completed I'm very close to completing this project and got it one step closer. Here's that. So the vending machine project that I've been working on for like over a year, um, finally updated the coin max. So now it takes all kinds of coins also updated the validator. So now as you can see, it's blinking. So it accepts ones, fives, tens, and twenties. So that's cool. This is supposed to accept credit cards also, but I have to get, um, there's this little thing. It's kind of like a internet router. When you accept credit cards on one of these things, you have to connect online and you have to pay like five to like five dollars a month or some shit like that. But then we'll be able to run credit cards through that, which will make that extremely profitable. Um, all of our, our guys here want to like, they want, to buy snacks all the time but sometimes i mean especially when it was only taking coins sometimes they don't have coins sometimes uh they only have bills now it at least takes bills which is good and then once it takes credit cards i mean they can do it all and with some knowledge of credit cards now that i've got from this i can likely update the one outside to a credit card reader as well so Anyway, I've also made a contact with a local technician, which he's like the only one around here. Luckily, I was able to find him. So anyway, yeah, 
we're moving along, firing on all cylinders. We've got new products happening at HHP, new stuff happening up here, Adventure Park stuff, parades. We have an Adventure Park event this weekend, so we're going to be working on that as well. That is going to be it for the day. Thank you guys very much for watching. I am Justin tuning out. You stay scary.